Well, Dugas digs in, and that first pitch, Gavin on Gavin to start, and there's a called strike three. That's one way to start things off, a three-pitch strikeout. That he wants to someday pitch in the big leagues. That's a five-pitch walk. He's hitting 5-10, and he bounces one to second. Agabitis the flip, Schultz the turn, 4-6-3, inning-ending double play. There's a payoff, and it's low. So Brady Bear gets his team leading 19th walk. And Lambert rolls one towards third. White will field it in fair ground. Throw is wide. And Lambert reaches. And now it's first and second with nobody out here in the home half of the first inning. This lengthy, lengthy at bat. Another payoff. Called strike three. You've been that too much. One, two. Is into left field. That's a base hit. Around third comes A Bear. He'll score. And two lane strikes first against top ranked LSU. Two on, still just one out. And that's a nasty breaking ball there from Little. 3 0 from Little. And that's down and in. Two balls, two strikes, two down, bottom one. Swing and a miss. So Christian Little strikes out the side in the first. You know, <laughs> the way things are in college baseball. This one out to right center fields and down for a hit. So first hit of the game for LSU goes to Beloso, who is making just his 11th start here today. Listening to LSU take batting practice. This one out to left center field, and that's trouble. It'll split the gap and roll to the wall. Beloso doesn't run great. They'll hold him at third. Up to second base goes Jones. 2-1 is popped up on the infields. Schultz is in. He is called off by the third baseman, Baumgart. It's two years. Called strike three. Right. How about the work from Grant Clevenger? Top of the order in Gavin Dugas. They had the right side wide open for him, and he takes full advantage. And he's aboard with a one-out single. Numbers are so strong, it's like don't run yourself out of an inning. And Morgan is hit. That's one thing they do, too. They get hit a ton. And it's Dylan Cruz. Chopper left side. Schultz is there. He'll go to third for the force play. Well done by the two-lane shortstop. 51 driven in, second nationally. 2-2 two -two. is sent out to center. And a late jump for Banks. It's over his head and off the wall. He misplayed it. Morgan scores right behind him, Cruz in as well. And LSU's got the lead in the third, it's 2-1. Teo Banks turned himself every which way but loose, and I'm not real sure he's gonna get back to that one anyway. He gets his hands inside it and gets it on the fat part. Swing and a miss. Christian Sanchez gets his first strike out to finish off the third. Another payoff from Money. He dropped a curveball on him, but he missed. And Margett walks. 2-2 Two -two to Baumgart. And he shoots it out to center field. It's hit a long way. Cruz is back. Look it up. It's gone. Simon Baumgart, a two-run blast. His seventh homer of the season. And Tulane grabs the lead right back in the third. It's 3-2. Well, he stayed out there with his stuff, and Baumgart centered that one up. And, you know, he's hit with power to right, right center this year. And he timed it up pretty good and knew he kind of knew he got it. It goes off the screen, the hitting eye. 2-1. That's out to right field and hit well. LaPrairie is back over his head off the wall. Jones digging for two, throw in off line. And he has back-to-back -back doubles to start his night. And LSU immediately the tying run into scoring position to start the fourth. This one's through the left side. It was wide open, a base hit. Jackson Linwell fields. Around third comes Jones to score. And we're tied up at three on the RBI single from Braden Bear. There's a look right now at the West Division. This one up the middle could be two. The flip by Agabitis, the turn by Schultz. It's the second 4-6-3 double play they've turned tonight. As deep a trench as, as, as you could imagine. 
Hard hit ball, left side off the glove of Schultz. And Morgan's got himself his first hit tonight. He's been aboard all three times. Payoff pitch, runner goes into left field, a base hit. Morgan slowed down briefly, but he'll easily get into third base. And Dylan Cruz will now this. go to second. It was bobbled briefly. Throw there, not in time from Schultz. So a miscue by the two-lane defense, and it turns into second and third with just one out for top-ranked LSU. Yeah, that was crazy. He got a ball out over the plate and hit a bullet into left field. And, and Lynn, Jackson Lynn, the left fielder, for some reason, he throws the ball to the shortstop who's lining up towards third. Schultz bobbles it and a very heads up play by Cruz who was not going, but he can get those hands through the zone. And he sends this one out to left center field and deep. Banks is over, Lynn will take it and make the grab. Easily scoring is Morgan, to third goes Cruz. It's a sack fly off the bat of Tommy White. RBI number three on the night, 54 on the season. And LSU's got the lead back, it's 4-3. Second to third. And now Beloso sends one in the right center field, and that's down. Cruz jogs in and scores. And Cade Beloso's got his second hit, and an RBI to make it 5-3. That's down the left field line, and a fair ball. And that's trouble. Beloso will dig into third. Here comes a relay from Schultz to the plate. He's got him out by a mile. Well, well done by Tulane. LSU gambles and gets burned, but they do get two in the fifth inning. And that one hit the umpire in addition to hitting Thompson. Yeah. Ricocheted off the hitter. Yeah, that can't feel good. Me, it's because I was couldn't get out of the way. Runner goes into right field, a base hit. And that is a hit and run to perfection. Thompson will stroll into third. Well done by Alex Malazzo in the nine hole, his first hit. Nice when you have a guy like that in the one hole. And he shoots one down the left field line, a base hit. So Thompson will jog in and score. Malazzo racing up to third. And Gavin Dugas has his second hit. Ball gets away from Schultz, the shortstop. And LSU keeps tacking him on. It's now six to three. Drop that slider in the right place. Swing and a miss. Good fastball there, up and away at 91. This is what a lot of teams elect to do to him. Pitch around him and then eventually intentionally walk him. And that's what Jay Ullman will do here and put him on first base. And a sack flies last time up in the fifth. 2-1 into right field, dipping fast. LaPerry lays out and makes the catch. Wow. That saved at least a couple of runs. Braden Joe Bear awaits an 0-1 and drills it out to right center field. Long run for LaPerry, looks up. And it is gone. A two-run blast for Braden Jobert. They had to wait for a second to confirm it. It's his fifth home run of the season. And LSU's got an 8-3 lead. That one got out of here in a hurry. Yeah, wind had died down. Looked like he uh, left a breaking ball out over the plate, and uh, this one's up over the wire. One, two. And that's down the left field line, a base hit. Simon Baumgart having himself a night. He strolls into second base with a stand up two out double, and he is now just a triple shy of the cycle. Into right field, a base hit. Baumgart to third. They're going to wave him around. Throw is a little bit offline. It gets away from the catcher, Malazzo. Lynn's still going. He's chugging for third, and he's in there. Yeah, I wouldn't agree with sending that runner in that situation, but I guess you got to take your chances when you get them going. The throw way offline. Overthrows the cutoff man from right field and the catcher. Otherwise, uh, Baumgart is out by a whole bunch. Payoff pitch. Roll to the right side. Trey Morgan, who's moved over to first base, able to race to the bag and beat LaPrairie there. Seems like a homebody. You know, he does better here. 
That's in the left fields. So he blew it by him at 93, and then Morgan on a 94 mile an hour fastball shoots one into left. I think he did all he could with a slow roller. Tommy White finds the gap in right field. It's a base hit. Cruz goes first to third, and White is aboard with his second hit tonight and five at bats. A collection of guys like this in such a hurry. That's amazing. Popped up to right. La Prairie charging in, and he makes the catch. Banks sends one out to right and hangs up for a second, and it's off the glove of Kling. Banks with speed will halt at second base. Wasn't weight-bearing for about nine weeks. And he draws a two-out walk, so that's a good at-bat. On one-two. Hit sharply, dug out by White at third. What a play. Wow. On his backhand side on a short hop. Schedule continues. Oh, well, that one's up and in. Woo. Little chin music there for Thompson at 95. How do you do? Yeah, that was low 90s, and he's fine. This one is hammered to left. Uh -oh. Back, track, wall, way gone. My goodness. Jordan Thompson over everything. Home run number five on the season for him. And it's 9-4 LSU in the ninth after a 410-foot bomb. Wow. After he just sort of brushed him back, too, as um, when he hit it, he knew he hit it. See you later. Oh, you could bet he wanted to set them up and down at home plate to give themselves an advantage. And that is over the head of Engelhardt at second base for a base hit. So Malazzo will round and score. It's an RBI single for Trey Morgan, his first tonight. Out to center field, off the bat of Cruz. That'll drop for a base hit. Dugas will round and score. And one runs per game. Chopper to shortstop. It is Schultz across his body in time. 1-1. One, one. Is ripped down the first baseline, a fair ball. Margette will dig to second base. Ball was bobbled momentarily in right field. And that gets you another one. Hit sharply through the left side, a base hit. Margette gets the wave around third, he'll score. And Simon Baumgart drives in his fourth run tonight with his fourth hit. Oh. And that one bounces away from Malazzo. And a payoff. Tipped into the glove of Malazzo. Change up stuff when you come in the, from the pin. Swing and a miss. And Thatcher Hurd has a couple of strikeouts. Money from NIL to them which is just a great story. Engelhard yep. sends one out to right, and this should do it as Pearson settles under and makes the catch.